Oscar Farinetti, the visionary entrepreneur behind Italy, found himself at the center of a heated controversy. Known for his innovative approach to the food industry and his passion for Italian culture, Farinetti has always been a figure of public interest. His journey from a small town grocer to the founder of a global food empire has been nothing short of remarkable. As he approached his 70th birthday, a milestone that prompted deep reflection, Farinetti decided to share his thoughts and experiences with the world. This was a time for him to look back on his achievements, his struggles, and the lessons he had learned along the way. In an interview with Corriere della Sera, Farinetti reflected on his life sharing anecdotes about his family career and hopes for the future. He spoke fondly of his parents, who instilled in him the values of hard work and perseverance. He also discussed the challenges he faced in building Italy and his vision for the company's future. However, one statement ignited a firestorm. A wish to have been born in 1922, to stand alongside his father in the fight against fascism. Farinetti's father was a staunch anti-fascist, and his bravery during those tumultuous times left a lasting impression on him. This seemingly innocuous wish struck a raw nerve in a country still grappling with its fascist past. Italy's history with fascism is a sensitive subject and any reference to it can evoke strong emotions and reactions. Farinetti's words, intended as a tribute to his father's courage, were interpreted by some as a glorification of violence. The media quickly picked up on the controversy and it became a topic of heated debate across the country. The ensuing controversy highlighted the complexities of historical memory and the ongoing struggle to reconcile with a painful past. It sparked discussions about how history should be remembered and the importance of understanding the context of past events. Farinetti's wish, though well-intentioned, served as a reminder of the deep scars left by history and the challenges of addressing them in the present. To understand Farinetti, one must delve into the experiences that shaped his worldview. Oscar Farinetti's journey begins in the charming town of Alba, nestled in the heart of Piedmont, Italy. This region, known for its rolling hills and lush vineyards, provided a picturesque backdrop to his formative years. Farinetti's childhood in Alba, Piedmont, was far from ordinary. Growing up in a family deeply rooted in the local culture and traditions, he was exposed to a rich tapestry of experiences that would later influence his entrepreneurial spirit. His father, a prominent figure in the Italian resistance, instilled in him a deep sense of social justice. The stories of bravery and sacrifice during the war were not just tales but lessons that shaped his moral compass. Growing up in the shadow of one two, Farinetti witnessed the devastating consequences of fascism the war left an indelible mark on the landscape and the people, teaching him the value of resilience and the importance of standing up for one's beliefs. His father's tales of clandestine operations and unwavering commitment to freedom left an indelible mark. These stories were more than just bedtime tales. They were lessons in courage, integrity, and the relentless pursuit of justice. Farinetti's home became a haven for intellectuals and political dissidents, nurturing his intellectual curiosity the lively discussions and debates that took place in his home environment exposed him to a wide range of ideas and perspectives. These experiences laid the foundation for his future endeavors, shaping him into a visionary entrepreneur. Farinetti's ability to blend tradition with innovation and his commitment to social justice can be traced back to these early influences. His journey from a small town in Italy to becoming a global business leader is a testament to the power of a well-rounded upbringing and the impact of a supportive, intellectually stimulating environment. At the heart of Farinetti's worldview lay his father, known as Il Comandante for his leadership in the resistance. A staunch opponent of fascism, Farinetti's father risked his life for freedom and justice. During the war, he organized clandestine operations and provided refuge to those fleeing persecution. His courage inspired countless others, making him a symbol of hope. Farinetti's childhood, spent in the shadow of his father's heroism, instilled in him a profound respect for a conviction and standing up for what is right. Farinetti's hometown of Alba provided a picturesque backdrop for his childhood. Beneath the idyllic facade lay a community grappling with the scars of war. Growing up in post-war Italy, Farinetti witnessed the resilience of the human spirit, 
Despite hardships, his childhood was filled with moments of joy and wonder. He spent his days exploring the countryside and immersing himself in the rich culinary traditions. These experiences fostered a deep appreciation for the simple pleasures of life. The shadow of war loomed large, instilling in him a keen awareness of the fragility of peace. Farinetti's entrepreneurial journey began in a consumer electronics store. It was a humble beginning, but one that would set the stage for a remarkable career. In the bustling environment of the 1970s, he learned the ropes of business, customer service, and the importance of innovation. In 1977, he founded Uniro, which became one of Italy's largest electronics retailers. The company quickly grew, becoming a household name across the country. Farinetti's vision and leadership were instrumental in this rapid expansion, and Junioro became synonymous with quality and reliability in the electronics market. His success demonstrated his sharp business acumen and determination. Farinetti was not just a businessman, he was a visionary who could see opportunities where others saw obstacles. His ability to adapt and innovate kept Unioro ahead of the competition. However, his true passion lay in food and wine. Growing up in Italy, Farinetti was surrounded by rich culinary traditions and a deep appreciation for quality ingredients. This passion stayed with him throughout his career in electronics. In 2002, he sold his stake in Unioro to pursue his dream of creating a culinary destination. This was a bold move, but one that Farinetti felt was necessary to follow his true calling. He wanted to create a place where people could experience the best of Italian food and wine. This dream became a reality in 2007 with the opening of the first Etali store in Turin. The store was an instant success, attracting food lovers from all over the world. Farinetti's vision had come to life, and Iatali quickly became a beloved destination for those seeking authentic Italian cuisine. Farinetti's vision was to create a marketplace celebrating Italian gastronomy. Iatali was designed to be more than just a place to buy food. It was a place to learn, to taste, and to experience the richness of Italian culture. Each section of the store was carefully curated to showcase the best of Italy's culinary heritage. Iatali was more than a grocery store. It was a celebration of Italian culture. It brought together the best of Italy's food, wine, and traditions in one place. Farinetti's dream had not only come true, but had exceeded all expectations, creating a global phenomenon that continues to grow and inspire. Italy was more than just a supermarket. It was a love letter to Italian gastronomy. Guests were greeted by the aromas of freshly baked bread and vibrant seasonal produce. The heart of Italy lay in its commitment to quality and authenticity. Farinetti sourced the finest ingredients from small-scale producers across Italy. Iatali was an immersive experience, a destination to indulge in the senses and connect with Italian culture. Cooking classes, wine tastings and workshops deepened understanding of Italian gastronomy. Iatali's success was phenomenal. Farinetti's vision resonated with food lovers worldwide. Iatali stores began popping up in major cities across the globe. Each location retained the core values of quality, authenticity, and community. Farinetti adapted the concept to reflect local culture, sourcing regional ingredients. Iatali's global expansion was a testament to the universal appeal of Italian cuisine. Farinetti's ability to create a brand that transcended borders solidified his status as a visionary entrepreneur. As Farinetti approached his 70th birthday, he found himself at the center of a media firestorm. In an interview, he expressed a longing to have been born in 1922 to fight alongside his father. This wish struck a raw nerve in a country still grappling with its fascist past. Farinetti's words were interpreted by some as a glorification of violence. The controversy highlighted the enduring sensitivities surrounding fascism in Italy. The controversy exposed a deep ideological divide within Italian society. Critics accused Farinetti of romanticizing violence and minimizing the atrocities of fascism. They argued his longing to have lived through that era demonstrated dangerous nostalgia. Farinetti's supporters defended his statement, arguing it was taken out of context. They maintained his intention was to express admiration for his father's courage. The debate highlighted the importance of engaging with history in a nuanced manner. The controversy served as a reminder of the enduring legacy of